All right, Andy Katz here with Wendell Moore from Duke. Four threes. Um, first off, your three-point shot is dropping for you. What's been the biggest difference? Uh, we just believe I have myself. I mean, the work I put in uh, around the clock, I mean, it's paying off. I mean, I'm real confident. My teammates are confident in me. Uh, so I really pray those two things together. We have a good day. You're having a phenomenal season. What do you attribute to the way you've absolutely just blossom from one year to the next. Yeah. I mean, I attribute everything to the work. Um, at the end of last season, I mean, I really didn't get off season. I was running back to work with uh, Nova Smith, our assistant coach, um, and Coach Will, our strength director. Um, so those two guys put me through. Um, it's, they put me through a real tough summer. I mean, so it's all paid off now. I mean, it's only the beginning of a long season to go. So Coach Gay was just talking about how he's amazed you're even out here. Yeah. This game, after what happened 48 hours ago in Clemson. First of all, how are you feeling? I'm real sore, though. Bumps and bruises here and there. Uh, I mean, other than that, I'm good. If I can go on and play. What was the treatment like? Uh, ice tubs, hot tubs, uh, uh, chiropractic work, a lot of it. I really didn't think I could do. I really just loosened up my body. I just did that. So you made a classy statement in there, you know, hard, dirty, whatever. You've moved on. Dave Collins apologized. But for those of us that watch, I mean, it was the scariest thing I've seen in a long time. I'm curious, have you seen it? Uh, yeah, I watched it once. I mean, I really don't want to watch it again. I mean, at the same time, I mean, it was really scary for me as well. Uh, I mean, so yeah, I watched it one time and I'm just leaving it at that. How amazed are you that you just pop right back up, finish the game, and the 33 minutes, yeah. and you know, you're back here 40 hours, 14 points, four threes? Hey, I mean, my mom always told me, I mean, if, I mean, if I can play, then I got to get up. Uh, so I knew, uh, I really run away, I was going to get him, I was going to finish the game. I mean, got, I mean, I owe it to my brothers, I owe it to my team. Um, they were there for me, so I had to finish it. For those of us that are never going to fly like that, what's it like to be in the air and not to, you know, to sort of be so vulnerable in that yeah. position? Yeah, it's a scary situation for real. I mean, especially that high in the air, and once you go parallel to the ground, there's really nothing you can do. Uh, so really all I try to do is just fall on my back and try to brace the fall. Uh, and I didn't want to fall on my wrist anything like that. I didn't want to jeopardize Try to break my wrist or anything. Uh, so really, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's a real scary thing, uh, but you gotta take it how it is. Last thing, the way you guys played here against BC, the way you have played in the past, mm -hmm. what's the potential for this group? I, mean, I think the sky's the limit for us. I mean, all our guys are getting better every game. You got AJ coming along, being the top ten pick this year. Uh, obviously, you have Paulo, you have Paulo, you got uh, Big Mark, Trevor, and Jimmy coming along. You got Theo coming off the bench. I I get Bay Jones by the way. So we got a good eight, nine, ten in rotation. Uh, we probably say that we're a real special team. Appreciate it. Glad you're doing well. Thank you. All right. Thanks.